What's up guys, my name is Eclipse, welcome to another video I made. Today I'm gonna tell you something about the ninjas. Though I know that they're a little bit underrated, but I think they deserve a spot in this place, in this terra, where the meta is gonna change when Awakening Patch comes up soon. Um, but soon I mean like four or five months, but you know, the more things you know, the better it is to get starting, you know? So let's get into this video right now. Let's go. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about basic stuff right here. Um, Ninja is not that hard to play. Let's keep it real. So for the first thing, I have a plus eight weapon just to test out some damage and stuff like that. I will show you that later in this video. But for the crystals, it goes pretty similar with all other classes that is close range. With these crystals over here, Hardies for the defense and get as much as crit rate as possible. The more crit rate you get, the more damage. Priority here is get as much as crit rate. There's no other way around because you need to get some crits going to actually do some serious damage. If you don't get enough crits, you won't do any damage at all. So I'm gonna hop over to uh, glyphs from here. So for the glyphs, I'm going with a standard build that is uh, chaining from each other. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the swift combo attack. It's going to be important because this combo attack that Ninja has is going to be used a lot in fights. And with a lot, I mean a lot. Because your auto attack is going to decrease cooldown, uh, double cut, skyfall, circle of steel, and a thousand cuts, and decoy jitsu. These skills are going to get decreased cooldown when you hit an auto attack. So that's why auto attack is going to be a really important role in here. I'm using Power Link from Jack Pet, which uh, allows you to do a much more bursts, bursts in some fights. Uh, really useful. Take it, definitely. It's a must, actually. Decoy Jutsu. 50% chance of the cooldown of double cut. I say, let's go. Because hitting a monster and getting 50% chance of double cut, which is almost one of your most damaging skills, is really good fire avalanche is gonna be your main burst i'll explain later in the video how you're gonna use this skill together with jack pat to get that extra 10 percent damage off but this is gonna be a big skill for you and you're gonna use it pretty much almost when off cooldown so make sure you get this fully glyph skyfall well as i said before i'm gonna chain skills with this character so skyfall needs to get the power link for circle of steel and double chance to crit, as I said before, no crit, no damage for Ninja. Circle of Steel is going to be a big hit. The first few hits that it does, I think it's like 5 hits or 4 hits. And then the single big hit comes up, it's going to do insane damage. So decrease cooldown and skill damage. That's really important for the skill. So double cut is going to be one of your most used skills in a fight. So that's why I use the decrease cooldown skill damage on skyfall and a triple chance to crit it's a must as well because this one is going to be used a lot burning heart is going to be the skill you're going to be using if you have full chi or around 800 chi to be honest that is going to do the same damage if you don't have fire avalanche so i only glyph the empowered one so you get extra damage not really necessary for these two because these do a more for pvp ish or pve small content i'm talking about mobs that can fly in the air so bosses are not included a tournament is going to be a skill that regenerates 50 percent of your chi and you need that on decreased cooldown so get this back up as fast as possible and use it when it's off cooldown it's really important the other skills can be used but are not actually doing a sane damage. Some skills are optional that you can use some now and then, but I will get into that later in the video. Also, make sure you always have focus on. This is really important because it's gonna st stack up to 10 times and you're gonna do way more damage. So let's hop to Gilly Blade and see the actual rotation of Ninja. And it's not really that hard, I will show you. So here we are at uh, Gilligalate, 
I'm gonna show you some basic combos. Sadly enough, I cannot backstab this guy or decoy jitsu. Uh, starting off things, you can also start with jagged pad on people or people bosses, obviously. And this will increase your damage for 10% for three seconds. So you need to be really fast on what you're doing. The basic combo you do with ninja is really easy. You start off with a double cut. Then you're actually supposed to decoy jitsu. And if you're lucky, you can get another one off. Skyfall and Circle of Steel. That's actually the whole rotation. <laughs> I know it sounds so stupid. But the only thing that really needs skills is the chi management in this character, of on this character. Which allows you to get such a big output of damage. So it's gonna look like this. Now you reduce the cooldown with auto attack. Oh, I'm so used to do Jiku Jitsu. So that's pretty much what you do all the time. Yeah, that's the combo. This is what ninja do to do insane damage and believe it or not but ninjas can do insane damage still right now if played right over for situational things is like uh, when bosses are attacking you can easily uh, do a thousand cuts which deals amount of damage as well and i frames you when you're in this attack which also get decreased by other attacks as you can see at the point that you are flying towards them and you're doing the thousand cuts, you're in iframe. Nothing can hit you until now. So that's really good to dodge. Also, when there's some AoEs coming up, you can also use smoke bombs, for example, in between like this. And you can keep going with your rotation. Of course, you have your main dodges like that, which you can also use uh, to iframe stuff, which is really necessary in some dungeons lately. So for the chi management, I have full chi, and if you feel like you're about, if you have fire avalanche off cooldown and you feel about to use that, you're not gonna use jagged pad and then fire avalanche, fire avalanche, fire avalanche, because that's gonna be a waste of the last two hits. So to make this skill fully efficient, you're gonna use the first tick, the first fire avalanche, like this. Now you use jagged pad, and then do the other two. Because that's gonna do insane damage so that 10% applies on the last two hitch which hits the most of it so it's really important to keep in mind that you do that if the boss manages to move around you can easily just do fire avalanche do jagged pad and then maybe dodge around and then do the other two or jiku jitsu to go behind him and do the last two things it's not that hard to hit those hits Let's say it like that. And it's going to be your main burst. It's going to bring you to the top of the DPS instantly. The other thing is always use a tournament. When it's off cooldown. And you can keep going with the normal rotation. Take note that you always do another decoy jitsu after the first double cut. I can't do it. but Okay, so when you're around 800 and 1000 G. You're going to do jagged pad and burning heart. Take note, you only use these skills, like Burning a Heart and Fire Avalanche. When you use those three skills, you're not gonna use one of those two when you have these off cooldown, because that would be a waste of time. So for example, you make sure you do Double Cut, Skyfall, Circle of Skill, and then do this. Because the time you do Burning Heart is also some time that you have to do less auto attacks and do the full combo again. It's really important. The tournament is up, use it, and you're ready to go. Keep doing the same rotation, and you're gonna be just fine. Now you do this, look at this. Now I only need to do one other attack, and I can do the same combo again. This is really useful, and make sure you get advantage of that. Other skills are not really that used. I mean, this is not gonna do any damage, neither is this. It's uh, not a really big deal to you think about it, so it's a really basic combo which you can do. Um, some people uh, even use uh, Leaves on the Wind in their rotation, I'm not sure, and this bomb, Impact Bomb. So they will do this, jump back, tick, 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 get back in, two auto attacks, and then do the normal combo. 
And then they wait till they have the cooldowns back off and then they will do the same. It's a pretty much basic thing. Ninjas are really easy to play but hard to master. It's one of the classes that I think is underrated because people don't think they can do an insane out of DPS. In my opinion, they are really good and I'm actually going to play them when the Awakening comes out because I think they have a potential of being in the top 3 DPS list. And I'm trying to keep you guys up to date with that. So, um, I think I'm ready to show you some dungeons. So, let's go. What's up guys, one last edit before I let the video go off. Uh, in the crystals section, I mentioned those crystals and I forgot I had pounding on. Uh, the pounding needs to be removed and it needs to be forceful and niviot. So make sure you do that because it gives you more power and does way more damage than that 8% damage of the pounding one. Thank you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's been a while that I made one of these guides or, or videos to check and show you that how things work like but a little bit of, had a little bit of a busy life it sounds really weird work and stuff like that and and the house I'm living in I'm not living in here for that long so we're like uh, rebuilding stuff and constructing so I don't have that much time to uh, make videos but I'm trying to make a few so now and then I'm trying to uh, make as much as possible because I really like to do it. It's uh, a lot of fun to do. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, I also stream. I stream more often than I make videos. So I leave the link below. Uh, make sure you check it out. Uh, sometimes I will be online uh, around 11 p.m. Uh, Europe time till two at three o'clock and I will show you some things in Terra or maybe other games I stream a lot. Uh, you can jo join in and I hope you guys will join in because I appreciate um, Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video or stream maybe. Peace out.